Okay, so here we have an interesting article from The Verge, and um, I, I would recommend checking it out after watching this video, because uh, I don't think you're going to believe me, honestly. It's uh, that crazy. But um, apparently, robots are useless for some things. Robots have plenty of uses, but for some things, they are straight useless. For example, the, the article even says that uh, robots can walk, talk, play incredibly deep board games, and even run hotels just like us. But apparently, one human skill the, machi the machines have yet to master is pouring drinks. Okay. So apparently there have been three Chinese restaurants. It, they were a Chinese chain, by the way. They're a chain restaurant. So they're not like three individually owned restaurants. Um, but uh, they apparently bought several of these units costing about $7,000 a piece that uh, they expected to, they expect, they probably expected these things to pay themselves off real fast. Because, you know, if a restaurant around here got robot staff, I would want to check that out. That would be really cool. Alright, I would probably go to that restaurant. But, apparently, Two of the three restaurants were forced to shut down after realizing how useless these things were. The third one sent the robot to some scrap heap, apparently, and started hiring human workers again. Now, I'm assuming that the robots did not completely replace all the staff immediately. Okay, I, that's what I'm assuming. Or at least I would hope. I mean, if you just... If everyone in that restaurant lost their job because of a robot, that's that's a whole nother story on its own. It, we wouldn't be here talking about how those restaurants got shut down. That'd probably be, probably be obvious. Sorry. Um, but still... I find this hilarious that they bought several of these units at once. See, if I were the owner of this chain restaurant and I approved this, I would have only bought one unit for one restaurant, see how it works. Because if it's a chain restaurant, $7,000 isn't going to make that big of a dent. Okay? Now, I, I'm not even going to even attempt to pronounce the name of the restaurant. It is just, I'll put it on screen right now. But, I, I don't know how, how much money these restaurants gross. I, I don't. But you gotta remember, they bought several of these units, forcing two of their stores to shut down. See, if I were the owner, I only I would have only bought one, and see how it worked. And if I didn't like it, I'd probably send it back to the manufacturer. So, really, I think these restaurants have themselves to blame. For buying several of these units. Instead of only buying one. And testing it out. And this applies for everything. If you're a cloud storage center. Like if you're a cloud storage database. And you want to upgrade all the hard drives. Now this is probably not something that would happen. They'd probably 
uh, slowly upgrade the hard drives instead of shutting down the service and upgrading them all at once. But um, still, I would have I would only build like one server with this new hard drive and test it out to see how reliable these hard drives are. And if I think that they're satisfactory, then maybe I'll build more servers with the hard drive. So, I really think this restaurant have, they only have themselves to blame for this, really. Um, and it, what do you guys think? There will be a link in the description below to this article if you want to check it out for yourself. As always, I'm Wand Wanderson, signing out.